Hi, I'm Dan, doing another guest review for Geekanoids.co.uk and their YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Geekanoids. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different in that I'm doing an app review uh, for the iPad. This app is um, a game called Cessity HD. Now, I hadn't heard of it at first because um, I hadn't seen uh, any reviews or any gameplay footage before, um, but now I've played it for a bit, it is a really really great game. It's really quite easy, you've got a nice simple interface as soon as you start the game up with the Cessity logo at the top, start game, credits and a mute volume button. Um, let's just mute it for now. So if we click start game uh, you get uh, another very simple interface and you've got a choice of levels. Now uh, you've also got a choice of difficulty, easy, middle and hard. This was made by a German app developer and I think it's been translated and maybe that should be easy, medium and hard rather than middle but just uh, being a little bit picky there. Let's uh, pick level one and leave it on easy so that I can try and look good. It's really quite easy, you've got to remember the map and then get from the purple to the green. Now this is obviously a very easy one in that the bricks lead the way. But as you progress through the levels, you um, do get, they do get slightly harder. And it's a nice little twist on a, uh, on a normal memory game. So you can see that these ones are all quite easy at the moment. And uh, at the end of each level, you get an option to uh, submit the score to Facebook, uh, go back to the main menu, retry, or go to the next level. You also get uh, your score and uh, your high score. So exam for example, I just did it in 1.39 seconds, which is a, a 3 out of 3 hearts rating. Uh, but my high score is 1.09 seconds. So if I, I can retry this level, and it's from when you touch the uh, purple square that the timer starts. So I can go right, like that, and try and do it as quickly as I can. So there we go, I've set a new high score. Now, if we go back to the menu, you come into this level select option. And let's go for, let's say, number 12. Now, these are a little bit more difficult. So it's nice to just get a good glimpse of um, your map first. Uh, and then, if you go wrong, I didn't go wrong, I really surprised myself there, but I was going quite slowly. You will notice that when I hit that um, orange cube, uh, it revealed the map again, just so I could get another quick glimpse. Let's retry that level, and uh, see if I can get a slightly quicker time. Now you'll see that I uh, went off track, but um, which is why I've got a red square there. But um, because I came back onto the track and corrected myself, that's okay. You can have three red squares and you still pass. But um, if you don't go back and correct yourself, for example, if I just go like that, say, and get to the end, I fail, even though I only had two red squares. So that's just something to watch out for while you're playing. Now I think this app is really good value because it's only £1.19 in the UK App Store which I think in the US App Store is, uh, is uh, $1.99 um, and it's not just an iPad app, you buy the One app uh, and you also get the iPhone version free which um, is a very very similar layout to this. Um, also with uh, version updates you do get extra maps coming along every so often it's only a 10 megabyte file so you can download it very easily and it's tested to go onto iOS 4 and uh, iOS 3.2 obviously because it runs on the iPad. This game hasn't been out long on the App Store but um, I think it will soon become quite a popular app as um, it's still only £1.19 and um, is a really good and quite addictive game and challenging game to play especially when you've got some time to kill. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.